outside right now in the elements. I'm here with uh, storm teammates Ellen Baca to talk a little bit about shoveling our driveways mm -hmm. and especially when it comes to the end of our driveways after the yes. snow plows have gone yeah. through and we have to sort of dig out that extra little bit that they left behind for us. Yeah, the double shovel <laughs> yes. is what we're trying to avoid. And there's an easy way to do it just in shoveling right the first time. So if this is our driveway, what you want to do is you want to clear the upwind side. So plows coming down the road this way, you want to make sure to clear your driveway and stack all that snow out. So by the time the plow comes down, it doesn't have any snow to pick up and to drop off on the end of your driveway. Now that's the first part. The second part is when you're shoveling, make sure to stack all of your snow in the lawn, not out in the road. Otherwise, you're going to make your neighbors mad because the plow will just pick up all that snow and dump it in their driveway. So two things to keep your driveway clear and not have to do the double shovel. Remember, <laughs> if you're looking down on your left-hand side, you want to keep that patch clear and you want to stack all the snow on your lawn on your right-hand side. Now, if you do those to two things, you shouldn't have that big bump at the end of your driveway. Oh, that is just, out. it's so difficult, too, when you do have that, because it's like you, you get your whole driveway clear, and then they go by, and you're like, oh, no. And you're no, like, here we go again. Back out and there. And that's how plows work, you know? They're just right. pushing snow off the roads, but it is the worst. We do appreciate all the work that they do. Yeah. It's going to be a long winter. It's going to be a long and winter. And they work long hours. We appreciate that Hopefully they do. Hopefully, this will help. It will. Yeah. Ellen, thank you. Brian, back to you.